Uh, just to give you a quick background on who Cycle West is, we are a collaboration um, between uh, the current partners. It's an Auckland Council-led project. I'm based at Sport Waitakere, working with Sport NZ, Auckland Transport, Bike NZ, and the two clubs in the region, uh, Waitakere BMX and Department of Cycling. And yes, I do what everyone else does, um, getting people on bikes, um, doing Learn to Ride, um, I've just come from delivering a Learn to Ride session. Um, so all of those things, but what I would like you to, to see that my project is delivering is exactly what Ian Maxwell alluded to earlier, is a, um, a local park facility, a bike hub. So basically, um, several years ago, back in 2009, we worked with two clubs um, around looking at a bike facility at Tarangi Haroa Park. And what we'd like to do is bring this into a bike hub. Um, also in this park was uh, one of those lovely illegal um, or under the radar pirated uh, jump parks, which is pretty um, impressive, um, had established itself in uh, the middle of our, our area. So I've been working really hard to pull this all together with um, other members of Sport Waitakere and um, Auckland Council and we now have the framework for a bike hub working with um, Maria Claire lawyers around making this an actual sustainable structure. Um, how does it look in the future? Well in the future we have um, areas of utilisation um, we want to redevelop the BMX track, which will be probably our first um, mission, um, hopefully by the end of next year, uh, this year. Um, we want to build a bridge um, across to the, the wooded area, and we want to put some mountain bike um, tracks in that, that wooded area, and also bring the... the, the to jump park into, um, into alignment with what we're doing. Um, we also want to make it a hub for road cycling out west um, because a lot happens out west, people ride from the city out west, so we want to make it a hub for out west. So we have things like beginner tracks um, and also looking at uh, possibly putting in a nice limestone track um, around the whole space to, to make it easier for mum and dad to learn. So really it's a mum and dad track. It's a track for people to, to start off with and then perhaps head out to Woodhill. Our future BMX track layout. Um, a lot of work has gone into this and I guess with the success of BMX at the Olympics and with the Worlds coming here um, next year in July, um, we want this up and running by end of the year, beginning of next year. Um, and there's uh, this part of the development here is actually a separate development called the Birdwood Reserve Development, which is actually tagged for a youth project, um, an indoor youth project, which we want to, to mould in to the entire um, overall project. Our jump park, uh -huh, as you can probably uh, see back here, this is it, this is it here. Um, We've worked with the guys down in Queenstown. They've um, seen some photos and are helping us make it a bit more, I guess, public friendly. But it's certainly not something Joe Bloggs is going to go and use. But to get them up to that space, we want to put in some jump, uh, a baby jump track and some pump tracks. And obviously out of all of that comes our clubs and um, to, to actually teach the guys how to do this, so do some training. So. I'm starting a freestyle uh, program with youth um, as a pilot at Green Bay High School, so that will be interesting. Um, and obviously our mountain bike tracks, that will probably be the third development um, in the space, um, as that's, we're gonna need more funding. So I guess what I'm looking for is, again, what Jay says, infrastructure. It's on Glen Road. It's a terrible road to ride down on. Road cyclists, I ride down it every weekend. Um, Pony Club has the same issue, etc. So if anyone can help with the infrastructure around that space, um, great. And obviously we'll need more funding to, to finish our entire vision.